Okay, so the original bridge in this guitar was just basically a classical style, rectangular looking bridge. And because there's so much damage around where the old bridge was, I thought I'd make something a little bit bigger, kind of a bigger footprint and give it a Gibson or a Martin style bridge with wings and a little contour in the back radius the top and I thought that would be a lot nicer and have a little more style so after I cut it to shape roughly I take it over to the spindle sander and get the outside contour rounded off smoothed out and squared up I drew some lines to indicate where the wings will end and use the spindle sander to take it down to its final thickness. So it's quite a bit thick still. I'll take this back to the spindle sander where I get that to the proper thickness. So here's the original one that I built for that guitar. It's super thin and just rectangle. This is the new one. And I just want to transfer the holes here and get them into this bridge. So before I contour the top of the bridge, while it's still flat, I thought I'd clamp the old bridge to the top, take it over to my homemade drill press here and transfer the holes. I'll use the bridge as just a guide and then I'll drill the holes the rest of the way through in a scrap piece of pine or something. Once I line up the bridge, I score around the outside using a sharp scalpel, just going through the finish. You can see it's slightly larger than the original shape and covers up a lot of the scarring, hopefully. To remove the finish, I use a chisel. Just taking my time working around and removing just the finish under where the bridge is going to be mounted. Using a sanding block and some 80 grit sandpaper, I sand the area nice and flat to accept the bridge so it has uh, complete contact with the top.
but I get it sanded nice and flat. It's nice and smooth now. It's a nice gluing surface for me to adhere the bridge onto. Just checking the fit right now. Still have to contour the top of the bridge. So I want to radius the back quite a bit where the bridge pins are, make it nice and round in the back side, and then I want to radius the top. I'm just smoothing out the 80 grit scratches from the belt sander. So the top is flat. I take a 20 inch radius gauge and just by eye, just pencil it in where I think it would look good. I know, I'm going against the grain here. I usually do that. But in this case, it's okay because I'm just with 80 grit sandpaper hogging out just to get the shape roughly where I'm just removing material. So I, I do the final work with uh, 220 and 320 and get it to the final contour. I'm checking with the gauge just to make sure it, it doesn't have like any humps or sags. It, it makes a nice even transition from those wings up to the radius in the back of the bridge. It's a lot of checking, a lot of sanding, a lot of checking, a lot of sanding. Finally, I come up with a contour that I think looks pretty sexy. So on the back of the bridge, I scuff it up to create a little, just a rough finish and clean it off with some acetone. It is rosewood, so it has the oils in the wood, as you can see. Uh, so under the bridge plate, I need to have a nice hard clamping surface. This piece of oak will work. You can see I have two bridge pins there. Those are a little shorter. I shorten them down so when I use them to locate this bridge, they won't, they'll be able to go all the way, seat all the way down into the bridge without knocking out the call on the underside of the guitar. I actually thought ahead on this one. So you can see there's not much play in those pins at all. Now just putting some leather pads to protect the bridge as I clamp it. I just put the, the clamps basically where they're going to be placed and just get everything to fit in the sound hole. And then I'll double check inside the guitar to make sure I'm on the call correctly. And once I take a look, I can go ahead and 
clamp down tightly. It's easy to clean up the glue when you leave all the areas open. These clamps are nice and tall. And I made sure I used pieces of leather that were just the right size. Not a lot of overhang so I can get in there and clean it out. Saves a lot of time later if I can get this nice and clean at this point. And there it is, clamped ready to route the saddle. So I leave it clamped overnight. Come back the next day and open up the bridge pin holes and ream them to size. They got a slight taper to them. The black ones on the outside are temporary. I probably won't keep them on there. Let's give a little final sanding before I get my Dremel to get set up to route that slot. Here I attach my my routing guide to my Dremel. And I built a jig that the guide slides into that's adjustable. So I can adjust the exact position of that angle for the slot and here I just I, I just need to have stops front and back and I just use masking tape and do it by eye. I want to get down to about 200 thousands ultimately. So first pass I'm about halfway there. Two or three passes I think and that should do it. Had a little trouble there. The thumb wheel was hitting my guide. And so I had to reset the tool a little bit higher off the spindle so I can go a little deeper and back off that guide. So those thumb wheels sit up above the, the guide a little bit better. But that's pretty much it. I think I check it here and I'm right to depth. And now I'm ready to fit the saddle and work on the nut and do the final setup on this guitar. Thanks for watching. <laughs>